Hello, I'm Carl from Arduino, and today I'm going to show you how to connect a Raspberry Pi to the Arduino Cloud. The Arduino Cloud can interface with almost any Linux-based devices, and you can write your application code in either JavaScript or in Python. When setting up an Arduino Cloud project, or a thing as we call it, you will always need to attach a device. To connect the Raspberry Pi, you need to choose a manual device. A manual device means that it is not configured directly in the Arduino Cloud interface, but you need to configure it on the device itself. So to set this up, you will need to have a Raspberry Pi with an operating system. In this case, we used a Debian Bullseye. Please note that in this tutorial, we will not cover how to set up the Raspberry Pi itself. But if you need any help with that, you can head over to the Raspberry Pi documentation. So the first thing we need to do is head on over to the Arduino Cloud and create a new thing. Here we got some variables that will link the Raspberry Pi, named button, led, and test value. I already configured my device. A Raspberry Pi falls into the manual device category, where we use the device ID and the secret key in our script to connect to the cloud. So once you've set up the Arduino Cloud, you can move over to the Raspberry Pi part. With the Debian OS installed on your Raspberry Pi, the first thing we need to do is install a couple of dependencies required to connect to the cloud. The main package is called Arduino IoT Cloud, and you install it by opening a terminal window and running pip install Arduino IoT Cloud. You will also need to install the swig package by running pip install swig. To use the Pi's GPIOs, we use the GPIOD library, which is installed by running this command. Once the installation is complete, we can start creating our script. For demonstration purposes, we have connected an LED and a button to the Raspberry Pi, which we will control and read from the Arduino Cloud. We also have a random value generator that sends a new value every 10 seconds to the cloud. Most importantly, at the top of our script, we need to fill in our credentials. This is the secret key and the device ID that is generated when creating a manual device in the Arduino cloud. Then, to launch the application, run the Python script. So now, when I'm pressing this button, I will see the dashboard change in the Arduino cloud. And when I click the virtual switch in the cloud dashboard, the LED will turn on. Now, this is a very simple project involving very few components, but it shows you how to connect the Arduino Cloud with the Raspberry Pi. And that's pretty much it for today. From here, you can obviously scale up your project to do a little bit more sophisticated automations. And as a bonus, you can also consider using the variable synchronization feature, which allows you to synchronize variables on your Raspberry Pi with an Arduino board without using any sort of networking code. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.